Hi friends! Today we're going to focus on our ears and our listening. So I brought a singing bowl today for us to listen to. And while you listen, I find I do my best listening with my eyes closed. So if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes and see how long you can hear this sound. Are you ready? and we can stop the sound with our hands, just like that. It's fun to listen and see how long can we hear a sound go. Today I'm gonna to read the story, Listen, Listen, by Anne and Paul Rand. And this story was written in 1970, so it's even older than me. Listen, Listen, by Anne and Paul Rand. Listen, I can hear a very tiny plop. It might be a raindrop. I love the sound of rain. Now there's a much bigger whop, for I hit the fence with my ball. But oh dear, did you hear that tremendous blop? I happened to fall, you see, so that blop was me. I think he was trying to catch the baseball and he fell. Ooh, this page I have to go. Hmm, which way do I go? That way? This way? Well, I'll look at the words and it tells me I should go this way. Listen, it's very queer. There is something without any sound that I hear. Can you guess? Do you know that it's snow? When it snows, it's so quiet. You can't hear a sound. Roar! Can you roar? Roar! Now that's not a door, because a door goes wham if you slam it nor a dog, and as for a cat, it certainly isn't that. A bear would growl, and a wolf would howl. None of you knows what that roar was. Do you know? What do you think? What roars? I'm the only one who does, because that roar was mine when I pretended to be a... A lion. You got it. Listen. If I make a noise like clink, clank, it means I'm putting pennies in my bank. And if I go bung, bung, my hammer has hung a shelf. So they're hearing the sounds of the money clink, 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 and hearing the bung, bung of the hammer on the nail. Or built a box in case I catch a fox. So instead of a shelf, he was building a box to catch a fox. Shh, if you're very quiet and there's a little breeze, you can hear the whisper of the trees. But when a big wind comes, those same trees moan and groan and I run home. So sometimes we like the sound of wind and sometimes it can sound a little scary. Listen, it's not too polite a thing, but if you'll bring your ear up close, you can hear the breakfast noise I like the most. It's the crunch, crunch of buttered toast. Can you hear yourself crunching when you're eating something crunchy? Some sounds are scary and some are nice. I like the scritchety scratch of mice, but my mother takes a broom and very soon, woom, that mouse is out of the house. I like the whir that the wings of the hummingbird make when it flies, and the pss of fireworks as they sputter in the sky. 
but what a fright I get in bed at night when a siren goes ee if I don't pull the covers right over my head. Do you ever hear noises at night that maybe scare you a little bit? It's always good to ask your family, what is that noise that I heard? But the noise I like the very best is early morning before sunrise because then when I keep my eyes tight shut, I can hear the world wake up. It's a wonderful mixed sound from far and near, from air and ground. It comes from all around. Listen. Think about what you hear in the morning. I always hear birds. Listen. What do you think they're hearing now? A train. So today, take some time to challenge yourself. Close your eyes and see if you can guess what sounds you're hearing around your house. It's a fun challenge. You can always go on a listening walk and listen and notice the sounds of the cars, the sounds of people, the sounds of animals, maybe the sounds of music. So go for a walk today and see what you can hear or stay right in your home and see what you can guess is making that sound in the other room. All right, families, I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, friends.